In July of 2022, 30 persons took part in a pioneer program weeks aimed at training local jewelers and developing essential skills related to jewelry making processes and techniques. Dino Gold Jewelry Hub was established in Bridgetown, Barbados. This was realized through the St. Barnabas Accord, which was signed by President Dr. Mohamed Irfan Ali and Prime Minister Barbados, Mia Motley. The agreement was signed as a result of the high demand for gold in Barbados and the high quality of jewelry produced in Guyana, pieces like this one, which is of particular interest to residents and tourists of Barbados. These developments has prompted the Guyana Mining School and Training Center in collaboration with Yarborough School of Arts to launch a free jewelry making course to target aspiring and practicing jewelers and other interested persons. Community Talk spoke with several Guyanese who have benefited from the first installment of the program hosted in July 2022 and several jewelers who represented Guyana at the Guyana Gold Hub and AgroFest in Barbados also in 2022. That's how I developed the bond with Stephen Jacobs, the owner for Jacobs Jr. Okay. And I just came out to school, I was idle, so Stephen take that, took that initiative and brought me here. And I was doing apprenticeship, learning and getting a small salary. It was two different courses, um, beginner course and inter intermediate. So basically you learn the fundamentals, basically the basics because remember in a board slip, shop now is board, board amount. Right, right. But there our teacher is there with Philippi, she taught us the fundamentals and basically we had a great time. Persons that didn't go with any goal slip knowledge, class, some stuff. I like that. It was a great initiative from GGMC right. making the course free of charge but because it's word of mouth right. <laughs> the entire Guyana but since they made the course now Goldsmith are um, developing Goldsmith would benefit a lot from the course because they would learn better than word of mouth what do you think about the gold hub in Barbados showcasing Guyana gold, Guyana jewelry and Guyana jewelers like you? Well, basically, that's an awesome initiative also because you get to advertise your work craft over there and it's just a great exposure. I've been involved in jewelry making since like 13 years, since I was 13 years. My father was actually a goldsmith, but learning the trade for me is a bit difficult because you know. So you need somebody outside to teach them about it, you know. So, well, the experience was, was very good, but you know, sometimes you come across people who don't know things, you learn things from them and them kind of ways, right? It's basically art. So when you go there, she was still telling me the start basics. You start from the basics, going on up and up and up, you know. So in different parts, it was good. Yeah, we learn a lot of things. No. There's a good opportunity actually because you're getting go from this country to carry to the next country and showing you arts as a Guyanese we could create, you understand? And the young people, that is really, I like that. I see, I went to the course and I see a lot of young people, you know, and they're showing you different art. Like a girl, she make a mosquito. I was like, wow, you can make a mosquito out of jewelry. But she showed me how you can make a mosquito, you understand? So now I learned something from them. And it's a good thing, like, younger students should actually go and take the course, you know, see what they can learn, you know, get a job. So I mean the initiative in, in, in all in a nutshell was great to see you know that they're trying to facilitate a new training facilities for Guyanese and young uh, people in the workforce to branch off into this field. If this is going to be something continuous, I don't see it as being anything negative at all because you know that, as as we would love to see the pool of jewelers, like you said, being built and expanded, so as to benefit the younger generation that would, would love to be a part of this you know retail industry and um, you know, the manufacturing industry in general, which will obviously create more jobs in the future for them, at least they will be have an area where they can actually have jobs in. We had um, indicated that we would not, would not have a problem taking one or two of those 
top students that, 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 they, that the, the, the classes produce and then no and have them under take them under a wing basically and train them you know to more develop their skills that they had gotten through the initial phase but I always encourage you know the younger people to you know to, to try to reach out and try to acquire new skills um, this is a very fruitful industry um, again you know we have our guy in gold whole branding going on so it would definitely I see it as a great venture and as, as I said I would love to take more younger trainees under our wing and try to give them the skills so that they could develop it so they could be their own jewelers at some time in the future. So with the training here that we're doing in Guyana on the um, uh, guidance of uh, Mr. Uh, Minister Mr. Vikram Bharat in terms of his establishing the, the, the training school. Uh, the Barbados, Barbados, Expert Barbados actually wants, you know, persons to head over there to actually start a little training uh, a school as per se, so that they, we can actually help them. Being Ghana, as you know, is deemed as one of the jewelry hubs. So the jewelry industry is probably the second largest in the country, but it's a dying trade. So hence the region, um, the reason for for Mr. Mr. Barat and also myself, I can say, to establishing a school because you you see where Ghana is heading. We will need a lot more, right, to continue the manufacturing. So with this and having this, I think it's a great initiative. It's a lucrative trade, if I can put it that way. Once you once you understand and once you you know you you have that expertise. And you have that experience and you went through the school and you go through the school you can then apply for jobs a lot of jewelry stores all of Ghana that are seeking um, jewelers all the time if you check on Facebook if you check in the papers you'll see R. Sukrat you'll see Raj you'll see Kings the big names in, in, in the game they're looking for jewelers all the time so I advise persons to take advantage of this course um, dedicate themselves obviously so that they can become the next uh, big jeweler in, in Ghana Several jewelers from the 2022 course were also allowed to showcase their products at AgroFest, which was held from May 26 to the 29, 2022 in Barbados.